Hey folks, this is an experiment involving a simple pendulum. And the term simple pendulum uh, is used in physics to describe a pendulum where all the mass is at the very end of the pendulum rather than being distributed. So if I had like a meter stick hanging down, I was just swinging that back and forth with no weight on the end, that's, uh, that's not a simple pendulum. Uh, but it's also a good descriptor of a system that just doesn't have a whole lot going on. It's a very simple setup. So uh, we've got a meter stick that is clamped to the countertop, and then a string that's wrapped around the meter stick to, uh, uh, to hold our, our bob, our mass at the very end. That's all there is to it. Uh, so this experiment, there's, there's a lot of opportunity for, uh, you know, for putting your own spin on this. Uh, certainly, we could go with something uh, fairly classic, like determining what factors influence the period of a pendulum. You already have some understanding of what factors influence the period of a pendulum, but uh, we, we do always do verification experiments in physics, so you know, repeating experiments is an important part of it. That'd be a great thing to do here. Um, but along with, uh, with those simpler and, and more straightforward experiments, I think this gives uh, the opportunity for some creativity. There are a lot of little tweaks that you could uh, you could put on this. Um, I, I do think that it's uh, useful to put some time and, and energy into thinking about how you're going to make measurements for this. Remember that timing things is not something that we as humans are very good at. So uh, if you're looking at, uh, at the time for the pendulum to go back and forth, the period of the pendulum, uh, and this one is a fairly short pendulum at its longest length, your measurements are not going to be very reliable for a, a short period of time like that. So think about how you might get better measurements. Um, ideas that, uh, that you might try out, maybe implementing something with the Explorer probe here. We don't have uh, necessarily a great way to, uh, to get that number explicitly, but yeah, I think you could probably come up with some interesting ways to, to arrange this apparatus to, uh, with the Explorer sensors in there to get a good idea for, um, for the period. Uh, other op opportunities you might have here would be uh, looking at some of those assumptions. We know that a pendulum behaves like simple harmonic motion when we have fairly small oscillations. Generally, we say less than 10 degrees, which is what it's doing now. But you know, how different is it when we come out here to like 50 or 60 degrees and let it swing? Um, you know, how far off do our equations get? Is there some kind of a correlation where, uh, you know, the greater angle we get to, the less reliable our uh, predictions become? Um, so exploring the limits of, of that might be an interesting project here. Uh, something else you might try would be, uh, you know, not just letting it go back and forth, but maybe having some kind of a circular motion component to this, or an elliptical motion. You know, how does that kind of a pendulum behave? Or does this even fit the bill for a pendulum? And um, you know, what, what can we apply and what can we not apply from what we know about pendula here? Uh, so again, a fairly simple setup just means that there's lots of room for creativity. So see what you can do with this one, and uh, let's do some science.